Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, search, use the new research function in Google Docs. The first thing you're going to do is go to Tools, click on Research, And here we are. Okay, you'll notice I have typed in American Dream here. And you'll also notice that these web results below showed up. So what you have here are just like a Google search about the American Dream. You can also click up on the G here at the top and you can go to Google Scholar instead. While we're in Google Scholar, let me point out to you that when you mouse over or click over the site itself, you get the citation. And you click on on um, insert and you'll see it creates in this case an MLA citation. Now this only works inside of American of uh, Google Scholar. I'm going to switch back to uh, the web view in the search bar. And go back to everything. And I'm going to select one of these. And I'm going to ins um, Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick three or four more links and I'll be right back. Once you have selected um, some sources that you might use to support your argument up here, because that's the whole reason this, this thesis is a filter. I talked about this in class. Nowadays, if you're searching for something, you better have some sort of filter that helps you or you're dead in the water. There's just too much information out there. So your filter is, for example, that the American Dream is alive and kicking. So you are looking for sources that reflect that argument. It's, uh, it's a fairly simple idea, but it's, it's not easy. And the beauty of this program in Google, in Google Docs, is that it allows you to work within one screen to do your search, to record it, and to write. And because this is Google Docs, you can also share if you wish. These are invaluable job skills. You really need to have them. It's one of the reasons why I was so excited about this new, this new part of Google. Of course, the next step is the hardest part, because you're going to have to write one or two sentence summaries of the sources that you have collected up here. What does that mean? Well, this is going to be, these are going to be your experts, the people who support what you say about the American Dream, whether it's alive or it's dead, or both or neither. And you're going to have three or four of these sources. Don't be afraid to change your thesis at any time.
Now, usually a thesis is more specific, but in this case, it might actually be pretty close to your, your purpose in writing the paper. Purpose is usually general, thesis is usually specific. So be aware of that, that uh, you can change your mind about this. Maybe at first you're pessimistic, but then when you read, you begin to see stuff that's more optimistic and it changes your mind. And by all means, make sure that you change your mind as well in the paper. Don't feel like you have to stick with it. Okay, next screencast I'll talk about the organizational, possible organizational plan. See you then.